this is gonna be a survival episode out of a cave I've already been hiking quite a bit with a not so light backpack at all but we got all the gear we need in that backpack to survive in a cave to spot anything that may just look like a snake but is a stick or actually being a snake one day I want to stop blowing through you Eww. <laughs> we are sailing through a cave that's where we're going all the way down there for not giving up <laughs> after days and days of just catching herring and nothing else have a look at that that stuff here falling on my ass and we doubled let's see if we can get them both up yep that is what I'm talking about the herring slayer out here for four days and four nights in a cave man what an experience I will never forget those memories all those caves having seals next to me on a rock dolphins swimming next to where I was fishing the whole experience being out in the nature for so long what it may have been living in a cave like a caveman it has also been hard work at times don't get me wrong I feel my knees I feel my hands and that's the caveman thanks for joining me Eww. The wind is blowing pretty strong and changing directions throughout the day. Let's continue hiking there. We still have to set up our camp, set up a fireplace, catch some fish for dinner. We are currently in the far south of WA. For those of you who don't know what WA stands for, it stands for Windy Always. And this is seriously tiring carrying this big backpack there are barely any signs of human activity in this pretty remote part of the deep south of Western Australia all I can see are some leftovers of some kangaroos let it be their bones or let it be their poo let's keep going and get to our cave set up camp and catch some fish light on fire and cook the fish on the fire later on like a real caveman this is gonna be fun getting up here we are pretty much on top of our cave which is down there we're just on the last meters here and now it's steep like really steep one more time but we're almost there you can already see the cave this is gonna be our home for the next little while how it sounds in here 
par six. And all we can see is the ocean as far as we can see and just a little headland over there. And even though the wind is kind of blowing from that direction, the rock seems to be working like a fender, pushing the wind just up there because there's not much opportunities to set up a tent with cracks and camps or putting ropes anywhere. I've pushed a few rocks down here. Nice! Camp is coming together! And my cushion! This was actually a gift of my friend Natalia. Natalia, thank you very much! And I also took my inner liner for the sleeping bag because it's gonna get cold tonight! I can see home. Nice. It is a nice feeling to come home with plenty of firewood. on our short successful fishing mission hopefully successful quickly I just had a look to the right not too windy so I had a look to the left yep looks a bit better and I saw a seal on a rock but first of all guys check out my neighborhood what a cave how sick is that I really have got no time to waste, but what a place! What a neighborhood! Check out this cave. It's like a twin cave here. Anyways, we're on a fishing mission. I already explored all that earlier, and I'm sure there will be time tomorrow to discover a bit more of all that beauty here. There's another cave. That could be a good zone to go fishing, but we're going up there and then back down on the other side. I wouldn't have minded to have a cook up while it's not completely dark, but hey, at least we're gonna have a fire going. All right, let's get us an anchor set up here quickly. 
the swell is dropping it is a pretty straightforward place to fish here unfortunately not as deep as I would wish to but worst case we're just gonna have herring for dinner they should always be around and now you can see the seal over there on the rock I hope you guys can see him as well he's moving his head a bit around just straight in front of us I don't think he bothers too much about us he's probably just having a little digestive chill out and we better be quick because we may have like an hour left or something and I'm just trying to get some herring quickly that should always work down here put on a herring slayer and plug it out we are on we were on we lost it but almost a bit bigger than a herring oh there was a tap again and the first herring on board all right the next cast yep we're on it's a little bit better yep he looks a bit bigger oh, we won't go to bed very hungry that's another reasonable size herring yep and we're on it's all right and it looks all right decent size herring there's my meal i would say we just got back from filleting our herring got them in the cool bag it is getting late it's time to light a fire We got fire going nice that actually went fairly quick stoked about that man I'm getting hungry let's get this fire going here and it'll be nice to keep a bit warm around the fire as well it's already been getting slowly cold oh that works perfectly here the wind is just blowing in that direction all righty let's get started on cooking i'm hungry what a cool sound it's like that echoing and even the ocean is like echoing back through okay oh good anyways i'm starving and tonight we're going to have caveman curry Mmm, smells so good Let's have a look what our curry does in here. Ooh, that looks good. I'm sure that's not far off. Oh, the fish is falling apart. Nice. Even the wind is blowing that way. But all that here is just reflecting the heat to me. And it's, it's a cold night, but I'm not cold at all. I want to like kick back, relax, and just enjoy the fire for a moment as well. Definitely gonna call it an early night. I want to get up early, have a proper fishing early, early in the morning. Alrighty, I reckon that is officially done for sure. And we keep that covered up. All right. 
inside finally time to enjoy finally it looks very hot but let's give it a try man that fire is hot Good morning! Oh man, I just woke up after a pretty good night's sleep actually. Just took me a little while to to fall asleep with the swell hammering down there a little bit and, and the wind, but oh, it's quite nice to fall asleep and wake up with, you know, you can hear the ocean, you know you're right out in the nature. I could stay in bed for a little bit longer actually and continue listening to it and just enjoy my fairly thin but very comfortable mattress here but I think it's time to get up and get ready for fishing slowly time to leave the cave behind and finally go fishing I've been exploring my neighborhood let's say earlier a little bit to find the best possible spot a bit out of the wind we are about to reach a high tide in about one and a half hours the wind will pick up at some point as well but let's just get out there ASAP the conditions are probably getting a little bit tougher it's not great at the moment either but let's just give it a red hot crack I'm keen to catch some decent fish Bye bye little cave. Down here we got our little solar power bank charging up to charge some of our equipment later on. Luckily we got a little puddle of water down there, a little rock pool. Definitely handy to wash the fishy hands in between. And now we're going up there and back on the other side down where I set up a rope so we can get down to our ledge to go fishing not very far to go but man it's always steep here the rope goes down there and that's where we're gonna fish hopefully in about that zone 
the wind comes from above there it's not ideal but that's as good as it goes but man taking those views Now we're gonna get to our anchor point for a quick little upsail to go down to our ledge and go fishing finally. Let's get down there. This just appears the best place this morning, wind-wise. The swell is unfortunately a little bit bigger than I was hoping it would be. Same as the wind, but if we can safely continue to fish from that place, depending on what happens to the swell, that makes our life a bit easier because there is a bit of a, an overhang by the look. And then we're just gonna cast in that direction. There's definitely a lot of water moving. There seems to be some boulders in here, but that might be some nice deep water. Let's get into it. So the plan is to first get a few herring as bait on the lighter rod and then see what we can maybe get on the on the heavier. Surely there must be some herring around here. I could just be herring following and I think we are on, yep. Here we go, number one. Definitely a bit borderline here. I wouldn't want to be any lower. Sometimes there's water washing over here, and I did get wet once now. Not like unsafe, but yeah, it's not ideal. Oh, that's a big wave. Are we getting wet again? No, not this time. And just a quick update I'm just chilling out in the Sun out of the wind behind that rock here we managed to get a bunch of herring in the end lost quite a few in between in the beginning but I think I got four or five I'm just warming up and relaxing because I got pretty bloody wet when there was some waves washing over the rocks next to me and splashing big times over me I was pretty much soaking wet all through yeah not the nicest thing to happen so I just take a little break and then we cast out a chunk of herring on the big rod and see what we can convert that into maybe. Alrighty, back into fishing. I waited for a bit longer. It actually seems to be a bit more dry again down here. So the spot I'm standing is not wet at all. So I'm hopeful that I'm not getting wet again. But just in case I decided to grab my jacket anyways.
surely there must be some fish down there. Alrighty, second cast out here. Same piece of bait, new sinker, snaggy ground as expected. Trying a different zone. Man, it is a wide ocean here. I don't want to get wet again. Just been quite a ride for a while, but maybe the swell starts picking up, or maybe the wind changed a bit as well on top. Time for a change. I tried for a while with live bait, but just being nibbled off down there. So we're just putting on a big soft plastic. We try that here for a little while and then see what happens. All right, and second cast. All right, yeah, I got snagged with the soft plastic. Let's see what happens here. It's pretty solid. I don't think she's coming out and I think that means that we're packing up in a second. Alrighty, everything finally packed up. Let's get out of here. sizzling in there oh man I'm looking forward get some more coals on here mixed up mmm I can already smell it to be honest I would wish I would be able to share that with you guys as well and hey I'm sharing the experience here being a caveman as good as I can in all aspects of all the experiences I make and man good experiences this is really yum this is really good Got a few little, few little bones, but taste-wise, excellent.
thoughts about the whole experience. I'm very glad that I'm here in Australia where I can enjoy the nature and this lifestyle I love so much. Thank you for having me Australia. Anyways, while I gotta continue smashing that, I really enjoy eating that fish. I hope you guys enjoyed that whole caveman experience, this episode as much as I did. And if you did, please don't forget to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button and also share it with your mates. That's gonna help me to produce more of those kind of adventures to share with you guys in the future. And with those words, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining me again, eh? You! Mm -hmm.